Life is a chance to live for God. Our Bible study for today is Ecclesiastes 9 verses 4 to 12. This is Anchor of Hope and we will have our Bible study using New International Version and King James Version of the Bible. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 4 to 6 Anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a live dog is better off than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, and even their name is forgotten. Their love, their hate, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again will they have a part in anything that happens under the sun. Go, eat your food with gladness, and drink your wine with a joyful heart, for God has already approved what you do. Always be clothed in white, and always anoint your head with oil. Enjoy life with your wife, whom you love, all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun, all your meaningless days. For this is your lot in life and in your toilsome labor under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For in the realm of the dead where you are going, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift, or the battle to the strong. Nor does food come to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favor to the learned. But time and chance happen to them all. Moreover, no one knows when their hour will come. As fish are caught in a cruel net, or birds are taken in a snare. So people are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly upon them. So verse 4 once again, Anyone who is among the living has hope, even a live dog is better off than a dead lion. Anyone who is among the living has hope. Living means those who have Jesus Christ. Those who have Jesus Christ has hope. Even a live dog, live dog means a follower of Christ, is better off than a dead lion. Dead lion means kings of the world of Satan. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. For the living, those who are in Christ, know they shall die or go to Christ. But the dead, those who does not have Christ, know nothing. They have no further reward, meaning those who does not have Christ will have no reward in heaven. For the memory of them is forgotten. Memory means what the dead or those who does not have Christ are known for will be forgotten. Their love, their hate, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again will they have a part in anything that happens under the sun. Those who does not have Christ will have nothing ever since. The godless men or those who have does not have Christ will never have a part in heaven. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart, for God now accepteth thy works. Be thankful and be grateful in what you currently have, such as food to eat and water to drink. For it is now that God favors what you do. For it is now God favors His people. Always be clothed in white and always anoint your head with oil. Always be clothed in white means always do the things you have been doing that is good. Always anoint your head with oil does not mean literally anoint your head with oil. Anointing your head with oil means renew yourself in Christ by asking forgiveness of your sins and by asking God for your renewal and revival in Jesus' name. 
Enjoy life with your wife, whom you love all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun, all your meaningless days. Enjoy life with your wife. Wife here could mean the love of your life, all the days of your meaningless life that God has given you under the sun. Sun here means heaven. All your meaningless days means all the days you have on earth is meaningless. Why? Why is our days meaningless on earth? Why is our life meaningless on earth? For this is your lot in life and in your toilsome labor under the sun. Lot means destiny. For this is your destiny in life and in your toilsome labor, in your hard work under the sun sun here means heaven under the sun means on earth to state the last part of verse 9 simply it means for this is your destiny in your hard work on earth so why why is our days meaningless on earth why is our life meaningless on earth this is our lot this is our destiny on earth Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Whatever you are doing, do it with all your heart, mind, and soul. Why? For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. For in the grave, or death, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. If you are studying, then study with all your mind, heart, and soul. Why? Because when it is time to be with Christ, the knowledge and the wisdom that you have studied and worked hard for will be nothing. So why are we still studying and working hard when later on it will just mean nothing when we die? The answer will be on the following verses. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift. The race is not being who is the fastest in terms of progress in life or in success or in career. Or the battle to the strong. It's not about defeating stronger opponents in life or defeating challenges in life. Nor does food come to the wise. It's not about the food on the table of the intelligent people, like the successful people. Or wealth to the brilliant. It's not about the riches of the professionals or the highly successful people in life. Or favor to the learned. It's not about the top of the classes or the most intelligent in the group. But time and chance happen to them all. But it's the time. How did you achieve such things? It's the time and the chance. Was it all for the glory of God or for the glory of yourself? Was it for God? or for the wealth of the family, or all just for the money of the world. Moreover, no one knows when their hour will come. Nobody knows when he or she will die. As fish are caught in a cruel net, we are all fishes of Jesus Christ, but some fishes are trapped in the nets of the world. Or birds are taken in a snare. We are all like birds, free to fly towards heaven, but we are trapped by worldly things of Satan. So people are trapped by evil times. Satan sets up traps all the time in the world on the people of God. That fall unexpectedly upon them. 
the evil attacks without a warning and may lead to the fall of men on evil. Conclusion and Application I had this Bible study last January 1, 2021, but my heart compelled me to share this now. My mother is sick of COVID during these pandemic times while I made this Bible study. It has always been a challenge to me, reminding her always to take one day at a time and one step every moment because there is always time for everything. God has given us the time and the chance to bring him back all the honor and glory while living on earth. You don't have to be the first of everything. You don't have to be the most victorious all the time. You don't have to be the wisest, the wealthiest, or the smartest. You don't have to be the most successful. What matters the most to God is the time you spent on earth. Did you obey His commandments? Did you follow the Word of God? Did you love God? Life is a chance given by God to glorify Him, to praise Him, and to worship Him again and again until the end of our meaningless days on earth or until death. All the hard work, all the wealth and riches, all the success in life and career, all the knowledges and wisdom you studied and worked hard for are nothing to God. It is the time and the chance. How did you spend your life on earth? Did you have the chance to be with God? Did you spend most of your time with God? Did you love or did you live your life for God? Let us pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this chance and for this life that you have given to us, Lord. May we use this life to give you honor, to give you praise, and to give you all the glory, Lord. May we live this life to love you, Lord. May we live this life for you, Lord, not for ourselves, not for the others, not for the world but for you lord because this is your life you have given us and this is your gift that you have given us in christ's most precious name we pray amen